Congratulations! Your purchase of the SX-5 security system is a decision which will give you peace of mind for your family and powerful protection for your home or business. The SX-5 is one of the most convenient, easy-to-use alarm systems you can own. Flexibility and ease of operation are built into the SX-5. It's simple to use and will easily fit into your family's lifestyle. The SX-5 security system is on the leading edge of security technology. It contains microcomputer circuits that control miniature sensors. In the event of an emergency, siren sound. The system pinpoints the location of an emergency and then reports to the central monitoring station, which quickly relays it to the this police or firefighters. Monitoring. We have a report of a fire at 1426. In addition to these features, the SX-5 can provide 24-hour protection from fire and emergencies such as furnace failure or a flooding basement. This video guide has been designed to help you use the basic functions and tests of your SX-5 system by giving you easy-to-follow, step-by-step instructions. If you're unsure of a certain instruction, simply rewind the tape to review it. We suggest that you show this video to your family, friends, or anyone you've designated to operate your system. The SX-5 system is often installed in many businesses, too. However, the examples we'll be using in this video will reflect the SX-5's use in a home installation. Depending upon the type of installation you have, your SX-5 system has several components that you may want to familiarize yourself with. The central processing unit, or CPU, contains microcomputer circuits that control your system. It receives information from intrusion sensors and environmental sensors throughout your home. You control it by entering commands from touchpads. It sounds sirens to alert you of emergencies and frighten away intruders. And it can report alarms to the central station, who will in turn dispatch the proper authorities to your home. To operate your SX-5 system, you may use an SX-5 wall-mounted wireless touchpad, a handheld wireless touchpad, or a hardwired touchpad with display. The access code is your personal key to using the system. By first entering the four-digit access code on a touchpad, you can then select any of the protection levels, cancel accidental alarms, test your system, and so on. The SX-5 system can be armed to several different protection levels by using a touchpad. Each level with corresponding status beeps is designed to give you the specific level of security you desire. Level 4, away, is usually used when you're leaving and when no one will be left on the premises. First, enter your four-digit access code. We'll use 1, 2, 3, 4. Then press the level number 4, away. You'll hear four short beeps. You then have a sufficient amount of time to exit your home. If you hear repeated two-tone protest beeps, it probably means that a door or window has been left open. If you wish, you can refer to the CPU display or the hardwired touchpad display, which will flash the number of the open sensor, and all four lights will flash. Once all of the sensors have been secured, simply repeat the command sequence. Enter your four-digit access code, then press 4, away. You'll hear four short beeps. You now have a sufficient amount of time to exit your home. Entry and exit time delays are fully adjustable. Your installer can determine which amount of time delay would be best for you. When you want to move about the interior of your home while guarding against intrusion from the outside, you can arm the system to level 3, exterior. Enter your four-digit access code, then press the level number 3, exterior. The system will sound three short beeps to confirm your entry. Remember, if you hear the protest beeps, it probably means that a door or window has been left open. Level 0, Disarm Cancel, 
turns off the intrusion protection while continuing to provide 24-hour fire, panic, and environmental protection. For example, when you arrive home and want to disarm the system, enter your four-digit access code. Then press the level number zero, cancel disarm. You'll then hear one long beep to confirm the command you've just entered. Remember, you must first enter your four-digit access code before entering the level number. And level zero can also be used to cancel any alarms that have been accidentally activated. Level six, night, is for use while your family sleeps. The delay times are active to allow for a family member still coming home. All exterior and selected interior sensors are armed. Motion sensors near the bedroom and bathroom are usually off in this level. Enter your four-digit access code, followed by the level number six, night. You'll hear one long and one short beep. Level seven, instant night, provides the same protection as level six, except there are no exit or entrance delays. The system will alarm instantly if any armed sensor detects an intruder. This level is typically used at night after everyone is home. Enter your four-digit access code, then the level number seven, instant night. You'll hear one long and two short beeps. If you're not within sight of a display, you can determine your current protection level by simply pressing the status button. Listen to and count the status beeps that sound. For example, if you hear two short beeps, you'll know the system is armed to level two, chime. Earlier, we referred to the displays on the CPU and on the hardwired touchpad display. Now, let's take a closer look at how to read these displays. Normally, the power light will be on steadily. However, if it's flashing, then AC power has failed and the backup battery is powering the system. The protection level window indicates the current level of protection. The sensor number window displays the designated number of a sensor in relation to the four lights on the right. For example, if sensor 12 should detect an alarm condition, the alarm light will be on and the number 12 will be displayed in the sensor number window. If, for example, sensor number 12 should stop working, the supervisory light will be on along with a 12 in the sensor number window. Should a smoke or heat sensor's battery become low, the trouble light will come on and that sensor's number will be displayed in the window. A sensor that has been bypassed from the system is indicated when the bypass light is on, along with that sensor's number in the window. Bypassing window sensor 40, for example, allows you to open that window for fresh air and still have the security of the rest of the system. There are two ways sensors can be bypassed. One way is to leave any door or window open that you want to bypass. Enter your four-digit access code. Press the number of the protection level you desire. When the protest beeps begin to sound, quickly press the bypass button. You'll then hear the protection level beeps. The doors or windows you've left open have now been bypassed. This can be verified by looking at the display. Here's another way to bypass. With all the sensors closed, Let's say we want to bypass the back door, which is sensor number 35. Arm the system to the desired level by entering your four-digit access code, followed by the protection level number you desire. Now, re-enter your four-digit access code. Press the bypass button and enter the two-digit sensor number, 35. Two short beeps will sound confirming that that sensor has been bypassed. This can be verified by looking at the display. In an emergency, you can sound the sirens and notify the central monitoring station by pressing the emergency buttons on a touchpad. With the wall-mounted wireless touchpad or the hardwired touchpad display, 
press both buttons at the same time and hold them for at least one second to signal either the police, the fire department, or send an auxiliary signal which can be programmed for personal emergencies. The handheld wireless touchpad can send either a police signal or an auxiliary signal. The trained personnel at the central monitoring station will respond quickly and reliably. Soon you'll have these commands memorized and using the system will become automatic now, you should get into the habit of testing your system regularly to make sure it's operating properly. The phone link between your SX-5 and the central monitoring station is critical, so we recommend that you test this link often. First, enter your four-digit access code. Then press 8, phone test. The test is complete when the display returns to zero. If it doesn't return to zero within four to five minutes, call your installer for assistance. To test the link between your sensors and the CPU, enter your four-digit access code, then press 9, Sensor Test. The display will automatically scroll through the numbers of every sensor in your system. During this test, you must open each sensor in your system. You must also test your smoke sensors, motion sensors, touchpad alarm buttons, and any other sensors in your system. As the CPU receives an OK signal from each sensor, its number is removed from the display scroll, and you'll hear a short, loud beep. The test is complete when all sensors have been tested and no numbers are displayed on the CPU. This video guide highlights only the primary features of your SX-5 system. You can learn about many other features by referring to the SX-5 owner's manual. For instance, the chime feature. If you turn the chime feature on, a pleasant tone will sound each time a door or window is opened while your security system is off. You can select a temporary access code whenever you need to arrange for entry by a repairman, a babysitter, or anyone outside your family. Should you ever be forced to turn your security system off by an intruder, you can use the duress feature. Your security system would turn off, but the central station would be notified quickly and silently of the emergency. You can also have added security by using the buddy system, provided your neighbor has an SX-5. If your phone line is cut, and an emergency occurs, the buddy system sends a wireless signal to a neighboring SX-5 system, allowing your system to use the neighbor's phone lines to call for emergency help. After everybody in your family has had the opportunity to review this video owner's guide, feel free to lend the tape to a friend or neighbor. They may also be interested in protecting their home or business with an SX-5 security system. Also, ask about our referral program. If you refer someone to us who in turn purchases an SX-5 system, you can earn free monitoring or other valuable incentives. We've had our system for months now, and because of the referral plan, we haven't had to pay the monitoring fee yet. Now that's peace of mind in more ways than one. Your SX-5 system is the result of extensive research and development in security technology and is respected by law enforcement professionals everywhere. So enjoy some peace of mind, because you can entrust your family and home to the advanced technology of the SX-5.